Some corrections for Aileen. Uh, first, you said I have to educate my new intern, and actually the sentence is sort of correct. You said educate, but the pronunciation of educate should be educate. Uh, yeah, educate. But the way you said it was educate. So, uh, anyways, um, you could also say I have to train my new intern, um, or get them up to speed. Yeah, up to speed is another good expression for saying like getting them caught up or uh, getting them to be at a normal functioning level. Uh, next, I was thinking about buying a smartwatch of Apple. Uh, I was thinking about buying the Apple smartwatch. You don't have to say a smartwatch of Apple. Um, it's, uh, it, it's actually better to say I was thinking about buying the Apple smartwatch. Uh, next, a lot of people think the watch is not needed at work, uh, which that sentence is fine, but I just wanted to suggest that they are skeptical, which is one of our vocabulary words for today. Uh, and then I think they're going to make a big hit about smartwatch. I think they're going to make a big hit in the smartwatch market. Or if you wanted to, uh, you could also talk about the smartwatch market. Uh, I think they're going to make the smart smartwatch market a big hit, meaning that they might make the smartwatch market famous. Last, I think there could be so much we could do in the future with smartwatch. Uh, in this sentence, there's nothing wrong with it, really, grammatically, but you could shorten it and you could say, uh, I think there is so much potential for the uh, smartwatch. And that just kind of cleans up the sentence a little bit, makes it more simple and easier to say, uh, instead of saying, I think there could be so much we could do in the future. So that's our corrections for today.